and welcome to the flipped classroom. Uh, this is just a little introductory video to kind of introduce you to this concept of the flipped classroom and explain to you what exactly it is and what it's about. Uh, traditionally, what we would do in a school, in a classroom setting, is the kids would come in, we would do a lesson on the board, I'd give them some examples, and they'd take home some sort of worksheet to practice the skill that they've now learned. What we're doing in a flipped classroom is we're flip-flopping those two components. So what students will be doing is watching these videos at home that explain how to do the math, and then when they come into class, we'll do some sort of hands-on activity or maybe a worksheet, some sort of extension to help um, reinforce that concept that they've learned. So we're kind of taking those two homework and classwork components and we're flipping them around, which is why we call it the flipped classroom. Um, I just wanted to go over what the videos would look like and how your uh, child can best take notes. So it'll start out like this. Um, the lesson titles will be above the video. Um, I'll give them an objective that we're going to start with. So our objective here in our introductory video is to learn about the flipped classroom. What is it? How are we going to do it? The next thing I'll have is any kind of vocab that they might need to know that we can go over um, on this. The joy of this is you have all these lovely buttons. You can pause while you're writing this down, and then you can go back and you can listen, because I know a lot of times in the classroom, it's very difficult for children to both write and listen. Um, they can do one or the other, but not both. So they can pause, they can write it down, then they can listen to what I'm saying and help reinforce that concept. So here's the vocab I just threw up, flipped classroom. What is it? Well, it's basically the opposite of a traditional classroom setting. Uh, then when we come down here, and we would have some examples that we'll do together um, that we'll work our way through. And again, the joy of that, there's a rewind button. If, you, uh, if you're confused, if you need to see it again, you can pause, you can rewind, you can rewatch the video to get the concepts. Um, the accountability for this, watching the videos at home, um, is there's a little, I call it a quiz. It's not really a quiz grade, it's more for me to see where they're having any issues after they've watched the video. After they've watched the video, there'll be a few questions that go along with a concept that, that I've taught um, and a place for them to write any questions that they might have that they need answered that I can address in class when I have them working. And I can go around to each child individually or in groups and answer those questions uh, for them. Um, it's nice because some children get scared to raise their hands, they're afraid of what others will think of them. So it really just takes away the stress of that in a classroom. Uh, so I look forward to being able to tape these and I hope you enjoy watching them.